Wind and solar power are becoming so popular that we have to turn off old school power plants and then turn them back on, and then turn them off again, and then turn them back on again. Hey gang, Trace here for DNews. Adopting new technology isn't like when you get a new cell phone. You can't just take the old one and put it in a drawer and forget it's there. Once you build a solar array and fields of wind turbines, those renewable energy sources start to cannibalize the power generation needs of the traditional power plants. This causes the older plants to have to shut down because they aren't needed. Now, that sounds like a good thing at first, but is it? I grew up hearing it takes more energy to turn on a light bulb than to leave it on. So I wondered, are power plants the same? Since we have talked about power plants a number of times on DNews, I won't get into the specifics, but all power plants heat steam to push turbines. So if you let the boilers cool off, it does stand to reason that it would take more energy to get them going again. But as renewable energy gains traction, the National Renewable Energy Laboratory wondered the same thing we did, and what do you do when you need an answer? You commission a scientific study. The NREL looked at the Western United States and created a sophisticated computer model to test power plant emissions at varying levels of renewable energy use, from zero up to like 33% overall. The model took the levels of every plant every five minutes for a year, taking into account weather, sunlight, and cost of fuels for traditional plants, and it turns out adding more renewables is totally worth it. According to their research, if we replace traditional power generation with solar and wind, we will cut CO2 emissions by 29 to 34 percent, with power cycling being like a minor fraction of a percent of the cost. But that's not all. It would also save $7 billion in fuel costs every year because we wouldn't have to burn these natural gas and coal plants to generate electricity. All benefits aside, coal and natural gas are consistent, proven power sources. Wind and solar aren't perfect, but they're pretty darn good. Wind power relies on accurate weather reports, so the utilities have to know which plants to cycle on at which time. And solar plants, well, they rely on sunlight. So we can't plan for cloudy days or even the fast-moving clouds that can block those panels. Upping the weather reporting will help, as will efficiencies in the panels themselves. We're up to about 44% of efficiency now. Grand goal, 50%. Not too bad. If you think of it this way, right now our power grid is working sort of like an early hybrid car. Some of our energy is fossil fuel and some is electric. But we need that old school power still. According to this study, the more we can replace with renewables, the better off we'll be, but it's probably going to take a little bit of time. Upping the use of renewables to the top of the study, 33% would mean about one quarter of the US and Canada would be using renewable energy. Awesome, but a long way to go. Are you concerned about renewable energy at all or you just want it? Like, like now. Like, let's just do this already. Share your opinions down below in the comments and click that subscribe button for more DNews.